Hello everybody and welcome to Behringer and I've just thought I'd do a little video um, on this next little bit I'm going to be doing and tackling and I bought this today from my local model shop and it's from Ratio and that's the code on the left which is 429 Concrete Fancy and this is what it looks like in the packet and just so you know what we're aiming for this is the um, Ratio and Wills catalogue and this is what we're aiming for here and that's what we're going to go for and I'll show you in reality where it's going to go so here we are at the new shot end of the layout and basically that is going to be running all the way along the length of the platform along the back there all the way down to the end and I'm hoping of hope that um, that one packet will do the job if not I might, I'm going to have to buy another packet but I don't particularly want to buy another packet because I feel like the one packet will probably just about do it and if it doesn't I might need to have to buy another packet just for one extra bit or two so hopefully um, it will all fit and um, I'll let you know how I get on okay so what I've done is I've got this piece of wooden board which you can see and then what I've been doing is I've been lining and creating a fence all the way along hit along the board to create the length and basically we've been gluing the posts and the and the panels together and what I've done is on this particular one here you see it hasn't got a little leg on the bottom and if I show you on the other sprue it, a lot of them have got the little legs on them and this is so you can pre-drill it into the wood or the platform I should say and then you just slot them in and you just mark off, mark off all the all the um, points at which you need to make the drill holes for the panels and uh, for the posts and just drill them in but I've decided to go, a di to go a different route which I'm about to show you now okay so what I've decided to do um, is basically these cheap haberdashery um, close pegs have all been lined up and they're all doing a good job because what I've decided to do is use some of this contact adhesive on the back and basically I've just basically glued the strip and the concrete panels and the posts all the way along and now basically every individual close peg that we have here is just basically um, holding it together to the backboard and basically it also makes good contact between the glue and the back panel behind it and the glue that's behind it will just spread out and basically glue all the way into um, into the backboard which is made out of wood uh, I'll just pull this one off just so you can have a better view of it and you can see that's what it looks like um, so this is like the next stage of it really at the moment it's just literally drying I'm not exactly sure how long it will take to dry but I'm not in any hurry because I've got a few other bits to do along the platform and um, I bought some station name boards which is all going to be done as well so this is basically how it looks all laid out now what's um, unfortunately the one packet wasn't quite enough um, it wasn't quite enough so I've had to buy two <clears throat> excuse me just for this short section which I was a bit kind of I thought it might have worked but it didn't and it turns out um, just for your own measurements if you're planning on using this stuff is that one packet is equal to 48 centimeters in length so if you work out how long your platform is you'll be able to work out exactly how many of these packets you will need um, and this particular packet cost me I think it's 429 or 439 or something like that so I've had to have two packets to create the platform and at this end of it if I just reverse it out a bit um, you see I've had to stagger it along for the, for the ramp at the platform so basically the panels have come down slightly on this end so the, the cellar tape there was just used just as a stand for my, for my camera like that so I can show you <coughs> excuse me so that's that stage now being dealt with and underway so once that's completely dried and cured the next stage will be for me to paint it so if you join me for that um, I'll show you 
the colour that I've used and and we'll see how we get on from there. We're now getting ready for the painting process. So I've just used the masking tape to mask it all the way along. And it's now all dried. It's probably taken about an hour, hour and a half to dry. Not that I was specifically overly monitoring it, I was just doing um, the station name boards um, which I said I'd bought. So, so in the meantime I just was doing that whilst this was going off. I've now finished the name boards and I've just masked it off. Now one of the other things to bear in mind when doing this, this is the, attached directly to the backboard. Um, so what I've done is I needed to make some holes for the station name boards in the platform so obviously I'm doing that. And I did that before painting, obviously I don't want to have to drill holes into the platform whilst the paint is fresh so that's something to bear in mind that if you've got any other work to do like make holes or, or anything like that just do that first before doing any painting so none of it just gets on the fresh paint and for this I'm going to be using a rail match paint, it's a rail match pot and the colour for this is 2422 and it's called concrete so I assume this is what I want. I haven't actually looked in terms of painted it or used it before so I'm going to be using it, giving it a whirl and um, we'll see how that turns out when it's finished. Okay right so I've now finished the platform virtually and as you can see I've used the concrete paint and it came out quality actually. I was really really impressed by the colour because it really does give the concrete effect and as you can see I've done the further detailing by adding the platform lighting, a clock um, and I've also added the station name board from new shot, there's one there and then there's one at the other end and also right in the corner is a ticket machine uh, my apologies if it's not picking up um, brilliantly and also, I've also further added it, we've added a bit of foliage along the platform as you used to get, it's just, just overgrown bits and pieces, nothing too fancy but enough to give enough of a, of a convincing effect I think. So that's been another thing, so as you look overall down the platform, and then there's some more in the corner, I think it works out quite nicely actually, I think it, it's, it's enough without it being too much for a sort of rural sort of not unmanned station so it's not, it's not overly exciting there isn't a huge amount of furniture station furniture I might need to get a seat or two and um, I didn't really like the other ones I think the other ones that I had here that I've cut were a bit too big so I've taken them down but I'll probably replace some seating also I've added some more static grass along here so that's another update um, so that, that looks that looks really effective I'm really pleased with how that's come out and also um, I've been as we move further back, as you saw my, my telegraph poles, and, you, and I mentioned in my last video about doing some bracing. And as you can see, I've just braced that one, and also that one, which looks really, really good. And all that is, is simply a matchstick, and cut the angles off of it, and just braced it with a matchstick, and then paint it in the same colour. And that gives it a more authentic look, I think. So I'm really pleased with that, if you look at it like that as a whole. That looks really pretty good. And I've moved the tree and I've put this tree here, but the signalman can still get an unobstructed view so the tree isn't in the way, so you can still see down the line and down the signals. Um, there's still more stuff to do, like um, bushes and um, relay work and stuff like that, that, that relay boxes that need to go in. Um, so the bushes will sort of come down all the way along there. I've also done some weathering of these walls to tie in with the walls that I've done there. So that's something else that has also been done. So slowly but surely, um, it's been done over a few days, a few bits and pieces here and a few bits and pieces there, but it's enough to give it an authentic feel, I think, um, to make it look rural enough without it being too overdone or over deliberate. Um, the other thing I've also done is that the tree that was, that is now here, was actually over over here. If you, but what I'm half thinking of doing is I'm sort of I've, I've had this tunnel port hole which I'd sort of done a test of uh, of the weathering before, and uh, I had this left over. And what I'm thinking of doing is doing it like that, and maybe 
making it out like the tunnel goes into the valley and it through the, through, through the hills and that. So that's something that I'm toying around with. Um, I've also got some more station name boards for Offen on the Hill and that's going to be put up at, at the station um, probably tomorrow. Um, it's just that I've done quite a bit of work today so I think I'm going to call it quits. I'm just going to upload this and um, yeah it's just I'm, I'm really pleased with it now because now it's all these little bits are starting to come together now and I'm just I look down at it like this and I think yeah that's pretty pretty damn convincing and I'm pretty pleased with that so all these little bits come together and I just think that that concrete wall in is just it's made such a big difference it really does it really makes a big difference and um, and you can just see, I just remember going to stations like this and when I used to take the train and used to have stations like this with this concrete and it just wasn't very nice to look at but that's how they were. And the greyness of the BR branding and everything in, in the old days as well is also pretty good. I need to get a, a British Rail logo down the far end, right at the beginning, right at the end. I've also added a, a route master down the end and a car that runs across the road that shows that there is a road around the back there. So that's the only other thing to do. I've still got some bits and pieces to do, like I said, to finish off with, like I said, the bushes and some along the middle here. And also some foliage and bed this in and maybe do a bit more kind of intricate work with some foliage and some bits in between the cobbles growing out through this granite set. It's like a bit like what's on the station, just, just bits and pieces just growing around just to give it enough of a feel. I've got a few crossing signs and things to put up here still, which haven't quite been done, but overall, slowly but surely it's getting done so um, thank you for watching as always feel free to comment and subscribe and um, I will speak to you soon so bye for now